Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're investigating the effects that quarantine may have had on two parts of Room 6 history. My first venue I ever reviewed, and my fourth live show I ever reviewed. So buckle up, and grab your masks, kiddos, because we're going back downtown. Compared to pre-quarantine times, there weren't a lot of changes made to today's venue, Backstage Bar and Billiards, or Triple B as locals call it, which is located on the corner of Fremont and 6th Street. What had changed, however, was the music offered up by longtime friends of the channel, Dirt Halo, who were on the bill that night. Parking was still a little pricey, Fremont Street was still full of cool street art and colorful characters, and there were still plenty of other neat places to grab a drink and uh, some ambiance. I was fortunate enough to hang out with Dirt Halo and their amazing significant others at a few of these other places before the show. Once inside, the decor was exactly like I remembered it, with tons of blacklight art on the walls. And the ceiling! The green room where the bands hung out was still covered in wall-to-wall -wall zebra print too. It reminded me of something. Feel how good this feels? I'm gonna cover the whole outside of my house in this material. Drink prices were about what you expect for downtown Vegas, near tourist traps, but not so bad. At the time of recording, the mask mandate for high traffic locations was back in effect, and the staff seemed to be enforcing it where needed. Most of the bands that night were from out of town, with Dirt Halo being the exception. Mary Sleep With Kill did a great job of waking up the crowd and reminding us what live music at Triple B was all about. Loud music with enthusiastic fans and a respectable stage. These guys brought the energy and the audience ate it up and asked for more, which set the stage perfectly for Always Too Late, who turned the dial up a little more. They had no problem picking up where Mary Sleep With Kill left off and did a great job mixing it up with the crowd, including the bassist. Local Boys Dirt Halo were the third act of the night and you could tell they had some pent up aggression to release immediately. The boys unveiled some new music that I'm hoping to review in the near future. Hint, hint. And a new guitarist. Meet Michael Rod, taking over guitar duties so singer Bobby Sanson can work the crowd. Michael definitely has the chops to give Dirt Halo that extra oomph we all know and love. How much oomph? Well, see that speaker? I put a drink in front of it to take these pictures and video, and when I looked back, yeah, that's my drink on the ground. Learn from my mistakes, kids. Anywho. Unfortunately, I had to leave immediately after Dirt Halo's set, so I missed out on Stockholm Syndrome and Joe Rock Show. Overall, Backstage Bar and Billiards seemed pretty unchanged by the quarantine, while Dirt Halo had some new tunes, a new guitarist, and some new fans. Looking forward to the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll check out Backstage Bar and Billiards if you're in the area, and also check out Dirt Halo and all the other bands that were on the bill that night. If you want to support the channel, I would really love it. Got Patreon, I've got Room6.shop, um, got albums out, all sorts of stuff. If you'd like to subscribe, it really does make a difference, and thank you to all my recent subscribers. Click down there and don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified when I do reviews, when I do interviews, when I do whiskey reviews, when I do music history, all sorts of stuff. Really appreciate you coming by. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.